Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review. And in this one, we have got the third and final instalment of the Durham Brewery Imperius 2023 saga. So we first reviewed the rum barrel aged at 10.6. There you go. Then we reviewed the brilliant Imperius Islay at 11 point. Well, it's 11 percent. Sorry. Now we're going to give a go at the Imperious Whiskey Barrel Aged at 11.8%. There you go. Which I shall read to you. It says, a limited edition of 3,000 bottles, this one. So, before I carry on, the uh, rum edition was limited to 1,300. The Islay one was limited to 1600 and now the whiskey version of Imperius is uh, down, well, up to, down to, up to 3,000 bottles. Now, I did do uh, a version of this five years ago and it was phenomenal. It was brilliant. Um, at the moment. This has got a lot to beat this one. The Islay one, that, that one there, that is absolutely phenomenal. Brilliant, brilliant beer. Blew my mind. So we've got the whiskey barrel aged one. So I'll read you the blurb. It says, a limited edition of 3,000 bottles. Each small batch of Imperius is a temptation. Our Imperial Russian Stout aging oak barrels. Temptation... I think if you've never had any of these, I think you should get yourself a bottle of Temptation on the website. Um, this year we have chosen the Irish whiskey. Uh, we chose an Irish whiskey, so I say. <laughs> you tell me. We have chosen Irish whiskey. Ready now, but we'll continue to mature to three to five years. This was this particular one was bottled in 2022, so we're a year before the other two. Um, I'll give you another little bit of update on the other side. It's bottle conditioned. So this is bottled a year ago. So this has been in that bottle for, for a year, fermenting away, bottle conditioned. It sounds phenomenal. Let's crack it open. What like you do. And after this one, I'm going to go and hide somewhere and have a sleep. There you go, Durham Brewery Crown. Let's get a whiff. Yeah, you get more whiskey grainness to this. It's, you know, the difference between this one and the Islay one was the Islay one. You were getting the barrel. The barrel was coming in, pounding away at those taste notes. This one is more whiskey taste smell. Excuse me. Let's pour it out. Like you do. So, I think I've already reviewed this five years ago, but five years ago, it was 12%. So, obviously, on a yearly basis, this brewery, you know, recipes, you know, methods of brewing, it changes from year to year, so um, ABV wise, 0.2% less, but I've got a feeling it's going to be a belter, <laughs> it doesn't matter how strong it is, <laughs> so stick that there, and at the end, what I do after this review, I think I should just give you a little rundown of the other two as well, um, I was gonna do a one big video but i think um who would have done these beers justice it's it really wouldn't have done so i'm going on about other beers i'm reviewing this anyway put it up to the light this is actually slightly lighter in color than the rest beautiful looking head let's get a whiff 
getting whiskey more than the, the barrel. Definitely. It's more whiskey than the barrel. Now, I'm looking at this. It's 2022. This was bottled. Has it taken that extra year to mature to get them whiskey flavours infused into the beer? I would say it does. Um, so, obviously, if I pick this up next year for the 2024, which I might, um, it'll be this year's bottling. So they must have bottled this next year's version of this now with the other two. If that makes sense. Anyway, I'm going to go in. Cheers, everybody. Chin, chin. You know what? For me, first the first thing you get is you go in, you get in that whiskey, you get in the barrel. As not as much you not no, you get in the whiskey, but the barrel not as much. It's more straightforward whiskey infused type of stout than a barrel aged infused stout. Um the big difference between this and the Islay, the Islay, you're getting all the barrel, everything thrown in, and it's beautiful. This is more towards um, a standard whiskey barrel aged stout, and you're getting more whiskey in the flavour, more, more kind of like normal flavours chocolate coffee you're getting them more flavors in this stout than the other two um what do i think of it? i mean it's not as boozy but it's not i think for me this is the beer out of the three which really showcases the stouty elements more because even though I'm picking up that whiskey in abundance, you're getting lots more chocolate coffee notes, alcohol notes even, from the taste of it. I mean, the other two were very much, you know, the rum the rum overtook it. The years lay, the barrel overtook it. This one, the whiskey itself as a taste is overtaking it. Um, but going again. The mouthfeel is the same as the other two. The stouty elements are coming through more. You're getting more chocolate. You're getting more coffee. You're getting more bitterness. But then you're getting the, the whiskey side of things as well. For me, this feels like more of a stout that a lot of other breweries do. You know, I'm not going to name them, but it feels more traditional. It feels more of something that, you know, when you get, you know, other breweries doing different stouts, you know, like whiskey, you know, barrel stouts, it's more... It feels more, what's the word? It feels more kind of like, it feels more mainstream. It feels more closest thing that Dublin would get to a mainstream type of beer as opposed to something slightly quirky, slightly off kilt like the rum and the Islay. So for me, Getting back to this, I'm going, to, going again. It's really, really good. Face value, it's really good. You're getting them beautiful chocolatey coffee notes counteracting with the whiskiness. Um, the depth of the beer is just as beautiful as the other two. 
And for me, I'm slightly pickled. But I have to say, I've got to finish this one off. It gets a thumbs up. It really does. One more for the road. Beautiful. So, before I finish, let's bring them all on. Bring them all on. Bring them all on. Good game. Good game. Bring them all on. Did they do well, boys and girls? Round of applause. Like you do. So, this is the Imperius for this year. Um, what can I say? They are, they are fantastic beers. They are brilliant. But there's a winner and a loser. And no one wants to be a loser. So the first, the winner out of this lot, if you can only afford one beer out of these three, the beer I would tell you to get out of these three is that one. The Islay Barrel Age. That is phenomenal that is one of the best beers you will ever get that is phenomenal it is absolutely phenomenal blew my mind second now the second place is quite hard because we have got two beers here which you know let's take it one flavor over ran the beer and the other flavor kind of like is kind of like holding hands with the rest of the beer if you want to call it that so for me out of these two which one i would go for i'll go for the rum i'm not a rum drinker but that came out better than me for me shall i say that that weren't bad at all which leaves the whiskey which i'm reviewing now you can tell I'm a little bit sloshed. I mean, when you've had these beers, I'll tell you what, you would be. So one more for the road. Yeah, I'm going to sit back and enjoy it. Boys and girls, the Imperious Whiskey, whiskey Barrel Aged. Thumbs up. That is still a good beer. Go to the Durham Brewery website. Dolmanbrewery.com, check out their beers, check out this lot, and I tell you what, this lot are really, really good. Overall, every Imperius this year, 2023, worth getting, fantastic. See all the, the see everybody, <laughs> see everybody on my next beer review. <laughs> bib bib, bib bib. <laughs>